Rick here at MathLite, and uh, I want to talk today about the uh, acronym DEMAMS. You say DEMAMS, what in the world is DEMAMS? Well, really, it goes along with the word ask. And so the thought here today is ask DEMAMS. I'm going to say, what does that mean? Well, what I'm talking about here is as an acronym to help my students to remember to think about whether or not their answer makes sense. So I have my kids trained to ask the mams, and, and I'm trying to get in their thinking to think, does my answer make sense? Does my answer make sense? And you know, uh, if you've been teaching for any amount of time and teaching math, you understand, especially when doing word problems, that it's important for students to ask, does my answer make sense? And so the, the acronym is, is just a, a silly little acronym but it's catchy. And uh, a couple years back, uh, I still remember looking at a student's test and uh, on the top of the test where his name was, he drew a little square and he wrote DEMAMS activated and he checked off the square. In other words, it had stuck in his mind the aspect of ask DEMAMS and he was making sure that he was activating does my answer make sense for that test. Hey, that's what you want your students to do. You know, it, it's amazing sometimes if you've been teaching for any amount of time, you've seen all kinds of answers to word problems. And if a student would just stop and think, does my answer make sense? They would realize that perhaps they misinterpreted the question, perhaps they didn't answer the question. Uh, there are a couple of variations there, but the reality is they would realize they don't have a correct answer and perhaps they can fix it. So it's a simple little acronym, DEMAMS, and uh, I throw in the ask, I, I play it up, I even make it a little British, you know, uh, ask the mams, you know, don't forget to ask the mams, did you ask the mams? And, uh, and so real simple, hey, does my answer make sense? Something to think about employing in your classroom. Uh, hey, we're here at MathLite and just trying to be a help to you.